Hey everybody, my name is Dennis. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss a uh, DOS command. Basically, it's been used for a long time. Not a lot of people know about it. Called disk part. So, what's it used for? Well, you got a small two and a half inch hard drive, SSD, whatever it might be, or you got a three and a half inch. You want to take the information that's on them. You want to completely wipe it, and you want it basically like it brand new. Basically, you want to restore it to the condition it was when you first bought it. So, we're going to have a look. I'm going to use this one as my example, the little two and a half inch drive, just a normal, regular laptop hard drive. I'll show you what's on there, and then I'll show you how we get rid of it and bring it back to like we'd never used it. Okay, so before you start, and this is the reason I'm going to use the two and a half inch drive. You need an adapter. So basically this is going to connect to your two and a half inch hard drive. So you're just going to line it up, push it in, and then you're going to connect with your USB 3.0 into your computer. And then you can go into your Explorer and have a look at it. So when you plug it in, the first thing that's going to happen is that you're going to get this pop up. And it's going to show you everything that's on there, all your files, everything. Now there's nothing on this I need to keep. We're going to get rid of all these apps, all these programs. So, I don't need this open anymore. So I'm going to close it. Next thing we're going to do is get down here. You're going to right click where it says run. You click on run. Now, you're going to type in here. You're going to type in disk part. So, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. And you're going to hit enter. Okay, so it's going to ask you if you want to... Uh, Allow this to take place. Oh, yes, we do. So we're going to click yes. And then you're going to get a DOS box. All right. So let's come up with a disk part command. So the next thing I'm going to do is go list disk. And you're going to hit enter again. So that's going to show you your operating system, which is the one that's currently in this system. It's going to show you disk one and disk two. So the one we're going to, because it's a 750 gigabyte, which actually this is all you really get out of it, is disk 2. So the next step on this is simple. You're just going to select, so you're going to type select disk 2 and hit enter again. So it tells you that disk 2 is now selected. Now the next thing you're going to do, you're going to type in clean. Now when you do this, you're going to click clean, hit enter, and it is going to wipe everything. So we're going to hit enter. It'll take a couple seconds. And then it's going to come up and tell you that you've succeeded in cleaning the disk. After that, we're just going to simply type exit. And we're done. So now we're going to go back and we're going to look at our disk and see what's on it. See if it's empty or see what it is. So let's have a look here. So we're going to go to our Windows Explorer. Okay, so we're going to go PC. Now you're going to see it does not recognize that drive. And that's because when a disk is brand new, it doesn't show until you initialize it. So if you go into here, if you're already on PC, you're going to right click, you're going to go to manage. Now that's going to bring up another screen. Now, as soon as it comes up, and you click on disk management, a window is going to pop up and say, oh, here you go. Do you want to uh, initialize this disk? If you go ahead and say, okay, then it, the system will then recognize it. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And now it's down here. Now it's unallocated, but it is initialized. So all you have to do next to actually use this disk is you're going to right click, click on new simple volume, click next. And we're going to use the whole thing, so we're going to say next again. And sure, we'll let it assign a drive letter to it, but if you want to use this in a new system, I wouldn't do any of this. I would just stop after you've cleaned it, and then you start in your new system. But for the purpose of this video, just to show you what happens, we'll click next. And you can rename this. You can give it whatever title you want. But anyway, we're just going to leave it at that. And we're going to go next. And finally, we're going to click finish. And 
it's formatting the disk. You can see it here, and in a second, it'll be ready to go. Okay, so once it's complete, this will pop up. Now if you click on this PC, you can now see your new disk. Completely empty, ready to be used. Okay, so like I say, if you didn't want to use that, then you, you wouldn't go ahead and you wouldn't do, you'd stop basically at the clean. Take the disk, disconnect it. When you put it into your new system, it'll recognize it, format it, do everything, install your operating system, whatever you're going to use it for. If you want to just use it as a backup uh, into an enclosure, you could do that. In which case, then you would want to go through and do all this and have it as just storage or whatever you want it to do. So right now, it's going to recognize it in here. Okay, it's on the bottom here, the new volume F and healthy primary partition. Alright, so that's the end. So now you just close this, close this, and you're done. Alright, so that's the end of the video. Quick, short, sweet, to the point. So if you have any questions, let me know. So if you like this video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Subscribe to see more of my videos. And thanks for watching.